everybody and welcome to Sports and Ricardo Light One. Let's get right to it. The YMCA and Freeport Rugby Club Youth Soccer Program back on the pitch this weekend and they're moving full steam ahead. The Freeport Rugby Club was a buzz of activity with the continuation of the youth soccer program. Hurricane Irma created a delay in the program for the boys and for Coach Mark Harding, getting back to playing soccer was basically the theme this weekend. So what we're doing these first few weeks is we're working with our under-11s group, which is our boys age 8, 9, 10 and 11. We're bringing those out in the month of September. And uh, we've got a couple of 12-year-olds here as well. But then the aim is by the first week of October, we'll, uh, we'll bring in our, our, our seven-year-olds, hopefully with the coaches, our six-year-olds. And then we're bringing our under-15 program and then also our, uh, hopefully our under-18, under-19 program. Like last year, the intent is to travel to New Providence and the United States to give the young men exposure and development. And those opportunities are important. We took a group last year to Nassau. So the aim is we go at least once this year. We hope to host the teams from Nassau this year and maybe get over to the state. So we look as though we're, you know, we're having some fun. The boys are here. They're out, out having some good fun. So that's the main thing, you know, get some get some exercise, teach the fundamentals of soccer, but you know, sportsmanship, teamwork, and general, general growth as the, for these young boys. Also on the soccer pitch on the weekend at the YMCA was the youth development program. Uh, the is where they have the soccer and it's implemented. The girls and boys control setting and also some top notch instruction. This is the age where development comes the key word and that is also fun, the major objective. Soccer is big the world over, and these young hotshots are big time and having some excitement. Well, Bahamas men's national softball team in the Dominican Republic competing in the Pan Am qualifiers and Team Bahamas losing. They're open to Guatemala 2-1. Desmond Russell going yard in this one. Team Bahamas then regroup and blank Costa Rica 7-0. This morning, uh, Team Bahamas losing to Canada 8-1. Thomas Davis tagged with the loss. Team Bahamas then went on to shut out Bailey 7-0. Sherman Ferguson belted two two home runs and two run shots at that. Loud big boy Soya got the win and Team Bahamas now at 2-2. Two two. They're playing early tomorrow. They got to deal with Argentina and then Mexico. We hope that they can win both of those. Let's a quick look at your sports tonight.